got an LG washer and I'm getting a, it looks like a OE issue, but it's actually a DE issue, which means drain error or something like that. Drain problem. Um, I was trying to show you guys what it was doing, but anyways, down in here, the water wasn't draining all the way. So the first thing you need to do, a similar model or one that's just like it, this piece right here, you can screw it. You're supposed to clean this out every so often. I guess we didn't do that. So this got all clogged up. One time I got a piece of glass to go in here. I don't know how it got in there, but it did. And it went all the way inside of the um, pump. And the pump is located right here. I got my cover off. I'm actually going to replace this thing because it took me about an hour to get this all out. I'm going to replace it without going all the way in there. But this video is just about showing you what to do. I actually picked this up on eBay for $15 shipped to my drawer. And what it is, is a drain pump. And the piece of glass was wedged in here. That was the one issue I had one time where this wasn't able to spin and then it wasn't able to drain the water. So that's where the pump is located right there at the bottom. All you do is untwist it and remove it. There's two clamps right here. And, the, and how I'm getting in here is I'm using this pliers right here. And I clamped onto this right here and I slid it back. Now I can just undo this, but I'm going to be ready to catch all that water that comes out with this towel. Got another backup one on the side, but once you unclip that, and first thing you're gonna do is pull this out right here, this little prong, and all you do is squeeze it on the end, see those little clips. One of mine broke off on this end, but it's not necessary to have both, or if it's plugged in, you're fine. So unplug it, pull it out. So now that's unplugged off the side. It's got these two little rubber clamps right here that just hold it. Oops, dropped one. All it does is hold it in place and um, catch vibration. Um, electrical. It's in this box right here, but I've already removed mine. And it's actually um, turned back on so I can show you guys the video. So I twisted it back in. This is actually supposed to go inside of the housing. And it's behind that cover right here. Next over here. Oh, you do have the water. You're going to want to turn your water off before you go and unscrew that. If you're going to pull this whole thing out. And over here, where it hooks up way back in here. And usually that drain issue could be this hose that goes to your, what do you call that thing? Garbage disposal, and it goes in there. If this is kinked or something, that could be your issue too. That's the first thing you're gonna wanna do is check, or second thing, because I've already told you your first thing. <laughs> Sorry. And then that goes all the way down in here. And let me remove these towels and show you that there is a shutoff valve. You can get in there, all these towels in the way. There you go, you got a shutoff valve. In order to shut the water off, you're gonna turn it clockwise, I think it is. Clockwise, let me make sure before I go and say that. Yeah, clockwise would turn it off. Actually leaving mine on right now. So right now it looks like everything's working good. The dishwasher would run correctly and then I would get an error code up here. Um, I do wanna show you guys this real quick. There is a trick here for these and you, if you hit the normal button and the duplicate button, at the same time, I'll get it to do it. Hold on, you gotta hold it for like three seconds and just keep pushing, see how I'm doing my finger? Get it to do it. It's gonna, it's gonna drain automatically. You're gonna force the pump, there it goes, DR, which means drain. I am now forcing that pump to um, drain all the water that's in there. So you'll hear this pump turn on right here. I just remembered, it isn't gonna work because I've just unplugged it. But what I'm doing right now by hitting the DR is forcing that pump to drain. So if you guys have water stuck in there and you wanna force it, you do exactly what I just told you guys and this pump would be running right now. But mine is still running, it's still working, but it's on its last legs and it's not strong enough to, um, to pump the water out in a timely manner, which causes my um, dishwasher to act crazy and then starts running that OE error or AE, what the heck was it? OE is what it was, I just double checked for you guys, it was OE. So anyways, I undid this filter, make sure you clean this constantly if you don't have the same problem. And then you're gonna remove this piece right here. And that's how you get into this section. And you can see I still have some water here where it wasn't able to drain it. And sometimes it'll get food caught up in there and whatnot. So anyways, got that part off for you guys. Put that back in. So I'm just gonna replace this pump and let's pray that everything works correctly. I'm gonna pull this out. This is for you advanced people that don't have to pull all this out. I had it out last time like I told you guys. There, mine has two screws up here. You can see the two screws. I got one mounted here and one here. So you're gonna remove those two, turn off your power breaker, find out which one um, 
turns off your power. You're gonna disconnect your power right here. Turn off the valve so the water is off that was under there that I pointed to you guys. And next step is what you're gonna to have to do is unscrew this water line. Once you unscrew this thing right here, and then the water, if you do, if you don't turn off your water pump water over there, the valve, if it's not turned off correctly right there, what you're gonna have is water squirting out at full force out of this pipe right here. So if you do it correctly, you won't. And then you can pull the whole dishwasher right out of its casing and that will come out and then you can work on it if you need to get there. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace this and so let's see if everything right, works. By right. trying to cut corners, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I caught a lot of water with these towels and this. So is it really worth it to uh, not take this whole thing out correctly? I don't know. I just gotta be working about an hour. So I don't have a lot of time. So probably recommend taking the whole thing out, but I'm still gonna go for it. I got all the water out. I think I caught all the water that was spilling out. So I did spill a little I'd bit of water. I'd love to record this for you guys, but I need both my hands to untwist this. Let me try to see if I can show you guys what's going on. This motor right here sits like that and I have to untwist it and then it will come off. So that's what I'm gonna do is untwist it because it's locked on right over here, but I need both my hands to do this. The hose that I had to unclip was right here. And by telling you guys, I don't have to remove this whole thing. This whole thing will just see how it moves and you can get those clips, that little metal bracket clip right there with that pliers by moving it this way and catching it. So all you gotta do is take this one hose off, but if you can catch all that water and you don't feel safe doing this, go ahead and take the whole thing out. Um, it's just gonna take a lot more time. So I'm gonna untwist this, this white thing. I'm gonna twist it this way, um, counterclockwise, and it will unlock. I said counterclockwise, it's actually clockwise. I'm gonna try to set that camera up, see if you guys can see what's happening. If I can get my hand out of the way. So I'm doing this twisting the white one. I almost got it. There it is. See, I twisted this thing uh, clockwise, and there it is got it out I mean you could take the whole thing apart if you guys want to you can if you're a first timer just go ahead and do that but I don't want to take two hours I ain't got two hours of my time so got the pump out this is the pump right here that spins that's all you gotta do is I'm putting the new one and we'll be good to go here goes the new one in there always make sure if there's no dirt in here but the only thing I got in there is some water so like I said I had a piece of glass in there once and it most people would have probably threw the thing away. I fixed it once. I don't know if I'm going to buy LG again. Or do I blame LG or blame myself for not cleaning the thing out correctly? I'd probably blame myself. So that's on there now, and I'm going to twist it on. Make sure it's on all the way. You got to twist it. Make sure it locks in. All right, that's on there. That's it. Ready to plug it in, put it all back together and see what happens. I want to point this out. This is not the whole pump. This is a partial pump. And the new one I got didn't have the uh, rubber ring on there. And I was wondering why it wasn't locking in. So I took the rubber ring off of the old one and moved it over to the new one. And now I'm going to go back and put it in. Something wasn't right. I just knew it wasn't locking right. And with the other um, gray piece, that mount right there that's sitting right here, this is usually connected to it. Um, I will put the model number on here. And sometimes these are hard to find because they got like four different model numbers and they're compatible with a bunch of different ones. This is the new one right here. And this is the old one right here. And when you search these, you need to search the correct model number. Also, when you do order them, make sure that you use the photos to make sure that um, the plugs plug in correctly and everything looks right and looks the same. And Amazon and also do a Google search if you don't find them. All right. Now I got the pump on there. Everything felt right. The first time I did it, I knew just something wasn't right. I'm going to put this hose back on. I know it's hard for you guys to see what's going on. I'll just tell you. Hose is all the way back on. I'm going to use my um, pliers, if you could see that. And let me turn the camera a little bit towards that way. I'm going to go ahead and do this and clamp the clamp back on. Also, you can't forget to turn on your uh, water when you get done with this. Plug this back in where it goes. That's back in its place. This is all screwed on right with the rubber ring. Should be a little rough. I put this clip back on for you guys. And little hangers right here. Just hang them, it just clips up here. 
and then this clips right there that's all that does is hold it when it's shaking those right here got two of them that's back on there we're gonna go ahead and go behind the uh under the sink and we're gonna turn on the water back here turn that back on that's on and i just wanted to show you guys that when you do turn it on and we're gonna force that pump to work again I showed you guys that little trick where you hold normal and delicate. Hold it for like three seconds. Sometimes you gotta hit a couple times. There it goes, DR. That's gonna force the pump to drain, like I said in the beginning of the video. And I'll go down here, and I can feel that motor spinning. I'll try to back up so you guys can hear it. You hear it trying to pump. Let's this thing out. I'm gonna try to start it and hopefully at the end of the cycle, we won't get, I'm just gonna run a normal normal cycle and hopefully we don't get no error issue. That would be great. So I'll let you guys know what happens at the end of the video. I just wanted to end this video and tell you guys, I just forced it to drain because I forgot to screw on that um, filter. And in here, it was shooting water out like crazy, which I'm going to try to show you guys again. And I know it's working, so this did work. Again, my pump was still running. It would run, spin, stop, spin, stop, because I could feel it spinning down here where it was. It would still work, but wasn't doing its job. And somehow this machine was knowing that it wasn't doing it correctly. So right now it's filling up with water. When I forced it to do that drain, never before did it shoot water out the way it was shooting out into there. I'm so happy that this darn thing is fixed. So um, that's the model I got, just in case you guys have the same one or a similar one, and you're getting that error code that won't pump the water out. So look for a kinked hose. It could be your pump, and you could find these on eBay and Amazon if I didn't already say that. Just make sure you turn off your power. It's not a hard fix. And I'm so happy I fixed it for $15. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick and end this video that when I force that to drain the water that's in there, let me see if I got a bunch of water in there. I'll, I'll go ahead and force it right now. There it is draining right now. We're gonna go over here, we're forcing the drain. There you go, now it's draining. It was not draining for crap last time, but it was still working but only like, almost like peeing out, nothing. It would stop. So again, if this video helped you out in any way, just give me that thumbs up, thanks for watching. Go fix your dishwasher. Hell yeah.